जो ग्लोबल फोरम फॉर क्वालिटी स्किल्स एंड ऑन्टरप्रनियोरशिप ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑर्गेनाइज बाई बिजनेस कनेक्ट मैगजीन दिस इज काजल रुभाल योर होस्ट फॉर टूडे एंड एज यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव विद मी माई स्पेशल गेस्ट मिस्टर सुरेश पद्मनाभन एंड मिस्टर सत्या सो थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस बोथ थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर दिस प्लेजर इज ऑल आर्स सो लेट्स जम स्ट्रेट इन टू रीच फॉर ट्रेनिंग विच इज यू नो देर वेंचर एंड आर ऑडियंस इज वेरी मच इन टू नोइंग वट्स द कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड वॉट इट इज प्रोवाइडिंग द वर्ल्ड विद ये थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू प्रेजेंट आवर सेल्फ आई एम द सी ई ओ फॉर द कंपनी रीच फॉर ट्रेनिंग वी प्रोवाइड दैट स्किल्स डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एज वेल एज इन इंडिया बेसिकली द स्किल्स इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एज गॉट दैट मॉडल वेरी सॉलिड मॉडल विद ऑस्ट्रेलियन क्वालिफिकेशन फ्रेमवर्क um that we adapted and, uh, and uh, loads and loads of underprivileged and uh, disadvantaged youth uh, has undertaken the skills program and uh, they get that uh, better job offers um we try to apply the similar thing uh, in india the basing on the australian skill development model so we try to be successful we are already delivering it here so we want to expand our reach basically okay, anything mr satya wants to do you want to say anything we are running in india in two states uh, ddg program one is in uh, orissa and other state is in tamil nadu and almost we have trained around 2500 people and 70% of them place them in india and as well as overseas only a few country states are uh, placing it overseas in that tamil nadu and orissa is the number one okay. thank you okay that's great to know so uh, talking about skill development programs that reach for training is providing i would also want you to share your impact that you have created um, in australia and as well as in the indian markets how you have transformed lives and how it is that the business is providing value to people at the ground level yeah we, we, you know this, this is a people at the ground level that is what our primary focus as well you know australian government provided uh, quite a lot of funding for this uh, underprivileged uh, disadvantaged group uh, so youth at risk the job seekers and so on similarly even in here in india under the ddgky model uh, and uh, other uh, funding organizations uh, we provide that uh, um, the students opportunities to undertake the skills program um, by doing so that they learn that uh, skills and uh, they'll get the employment either they get the employment or uh, become that entrepreneurship on their own you know to become an entrepreneur entrepreneurship they need to have that uh, skill set on that particular area i mean india is uh, loads of opportunities you know um, that that provides uh, every youth uh, and uh, india is in a right to um, you know for the next to 20 30 years or something like that that uh, 19 to 35 years of age um, you know we got that highest population 60% of the population and that provides uh, that's uh, the opportunities are galore and uh, obviously uh, the central government uh, focus on skilling capital of the world india is going to be the skilling capital of the world so to support that uh, we do very little to you know to make sure that we achieve the target great it brings me down to my next question that is what it is that uh, you have uh, you know provided the australian skill development ecosystem with that if we adopt in india it could create a huge difference to the people living here so would you want to shine some light on that as well yeah absolutely yeah uh, look uh, australian model as i mentioned that before australian model is a very solid model it's a developed from 1993 or something like that so it's just about a 25 years of program and uh, and the, it is a basically it's a competency based program what is that means is competency is making a coffee is a program and uh, we can have a 10 students in the class and 10 students don't necessarily need to complete at all at the same time so you may be smart enough you may be quick enough you complete it today i may be struggle and finish it tomorrow so the opportunities for uh, someone fast and efficient and so on someone is slow so it gives an opportunity not only for you know high caliber of people it gives uh, all sorts of people you know maybe later on i may be better than you yourself you know and and so on 
So uh, competency-based model. Competency-based model is simply the task-based model and uh, every individual has got their own time and energy. Either they are competent or not yet competent, either end of the day or end of the program. Um, the, the beauty of it is uh, compared to the higher education and so on, we got a public exam, we got to go through, everyone has to go through. On one particular fine day, the person need to complete the course, whether pass, fail, distinction and whatnot. So this, that's a skilling, is a very short-term focus. Three months, six months, and 12 months and so on, you know, maximum of 18 months. Um, this gives an opportunity. We don't necessarily need to sit in the university model for four years or longer to get the job. So I can do that to three months and then I can be then employment or I can be that in the entrepreneurship area. So this is what the uh, Australian model is very good and uh, we are trying to adapt that particular model in India to be make it effective. This is very interesting. And anything you want to add so to this? You can you know, add with the ITAC uh, what you have done. Yeah, please, please. Then you can uh, actually, the ITAC is an Australian based uh, <coughs> program. Please keep this in uh, ITAC is an Australian based <laughs> program. It is a TOT. Okay, we train the trainers here. Okay, so to develop them, you know, how to teach the people, because we are conducting DDJ program for the rural youth. So they, where they can teach uh, soft skills better. Uh, that was used, that uh, program was used very well and we have trained more than 1,000 uh, trainers in uh, Orissa, we have trained. So basically what uh, uh, Satya is talking about is, uh, sorry, um, and to do this uh, competency, to teach a competency-based model, you need the caliber of how to teach that particular model. It is not uh, just a run of the mill. So Australian government has uh, developed a program called ITAC, International Trainer and Assessor Course. That provides how to teach the students on the competency-based model. And uh, we have delivered more than 1,000 uh, trained teachers here in India to to apply that Australian qualification framework in India to get better at it. Okay, that's great. I guess the, uh, with the, uh, you know, increment, we could say, in the, un the rate of unemployment, with this, reach for training is creating a huge impact. And for Indian landscape, I guess, it could prove to be a, you could say, I'm not getting the exact word, but it could prove to be a Ramban that we say. Mm. You could say that. Yeah, you could say that. See, uh, 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 through Reach for Training, our uh, subsidiary companies, Australian Skill Development, you know, it's, it's an Indian company. That's where uh, this gentleman is a general manager. Uh, Satya is a general manager uh, to make it effectively roll out the program. Um, <clears throat> the important factor here is the raising the awareness of the skilling program, it is very, very critical. It is not about, uh, you know, uh, skilling is there and the university is there because the people doesn't know skilling, so they just go into the straight, uh, into, uh, into that uh, higher education program. Whereas it has to raise from home. One of the uh, uh, presenters this morning mentioned that it has to start from mum and dad. Mum and dad need to say, okay, if you, we are not going to stay there for four, next four years in the university, the better off at the skills. You know, it should be a socially connected programs. So they should be happy with that program that uh, if I did the school and I'll get the job what I wanted or I become an entrepreneurship. So, you know, again, another gentleman said this morning, uh, India has got a 5% skilled program, skilled people. You know, whereas uh, Germany has got a only 5%, whereas in uh, Germany, 57%. So it's just a long way to go for India with a massive population. Okay, 5% is a huge population. So. I believe that raising awareness in the Indian youth as well as the parents is very, very critical to be successful. That's very well said, Mr. Padmanabhan. And, uh, you know, it's time to put an end to this conversation. But before doing so, please walk us through your futuristic vision and where do you see your organization 10 years down the line? Uh, ten years down the line, uh, REACH will be established, very well established here. It is not only a commercial entity, it is a more of a community services based. We, we have uh, got many accolades, uh, uh, the awards, um, Australia as well as in India. And if we want to establish, if we want to support these individuals, um, uh, those who are disadvantaged, those who are underprivileged, those who need support uh, in terms of skilling and getting the job wanted, or that into the entrepreneurship entrepreneurship route. Anything you want to add? Okay, so thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, I guess this whole session 
proves to be uh, very informative and helpful to the people out there. And many more successes to reach for training out there for their future endeavors. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.